Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land, welcome to the maiden voyage of our new wine review forum. The three of us, and allow me to introduce myself, I'm Joe from Mega News Reader. This is Resonate, and then to my left, we have Damien. Also known as Derail Freight Train. Oh, also Freight known train. as Overturned Beagery. Also known as the Janitor. It's uh, an honor to drink wine with you guys. Well, thanks thanks for bringing the wine tonight, Joe. Yeah. It's quite a treat. I, I would like to preface this tasting with the fact that we are in no way sponsored by any winery, and we are not endorsing any product. There is no commercial viability uh, that is going to conflict the interests of our untrained palates. We've had a couple bottles. Yeah, these are, these are the Red Man's bottles. We make it rain, bitches. Oh! So before us, we have a very um, delicious Benziger 2009 Vintage Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, this is a young cab. Uh, Benziger does some really fancy wines. This is not one of them. They do a lot of Demeter certified biodynamic wines. Uh, think of biodynamic wine as the most advanced form of organic farming. Uh, this bottle is something that you could find at BevMo or Safeway. Um, it's going to be around the $22 price point. Um, by no means is it an $80 bottle that you could only get online or at the tasting room. It's a widely distributed Cabernet Sauvignon, but um, it is a certified sustainable grape growing program uh, that they boldly put on their label here. Benziger doesn't do a bad wine. Um, any thoughts before we pour this Cabernet Sauvignon? I would like to thank Val for these glasses because without that we would not be properly tasting this uh, excellent yeah, wine that you brought We tonight. almost had to drink out of coffee cups. Yeah. Which, which would have been fun. I, yeah, I which would have, you know. Yeah, no, that's, not, that's not a big deal. Yeah. But, but we do have these nice glasses. Thanks yeah, for these glasses are from Beth and Daniel's wedding on July 6th. Congratulations, Congratulations guys. Congratulations. We couldn't be there, Beth but you're here with us today, and that's what counts. So. It's that's the wedding that keeps Beth on Beth and Daniel going. forever. Let's look at that viscosity as he pours it out. And, uh, notice it's, uh, it's thick, like wine should be. My one thought so far is that the bottle does not look like a very expensive bottle of wine. It looks like yeah, without picking it up, saying it was, it's hard to tell. No. no I'm saying, um, looking, it looks like something I would see at Safeway. Yeah, this, you might pick this up the same way, right? With, you know, it's like you know I actually uh, was unable to find this at Safeway. However, um, Safeway does carry their Merlot. Uh, and, and really, I well, mean, to taste pronounced. it, we, we, I guess we should be pouring it. <laughs> kidding. Like, we should actually be tasting. I bet, I mean, we're drinking, I guess. Well, I think the first that, thing... Let's point that out, that, you know... Wait, this isn't a wine tasting, tasting. this is a wine drinking. Yeah, right? this is a wine drinking. Yeah, there's no... Right on that glass. There is, is no right or wrong way. No, that's oh, how we're doing okay, it. Okay, so I should yeah. drink it? Uh, right. Yeah, well, it's I mean, swirl. however you do it. You want to swirl it first. Give some love. You want to release... The yeah, flavors. Get some of the flavors going on. Okay. Get that going in there. All right. And so then, I also like looking at the color. Nate, I think you were right yeah. to admire the color. Yeah, it's this yeah, is you a, can't really see through it, you know? This is a, you're right, I can't see it. It's, it's, it's really nice. I forget if wine dark, really like that or not. I dark guess purple, like that. black yeah. fruit color yeah, to it. Uh, um, it looks and, like... It, it's, not, it's like not vibrant red. It's like a nice dark red, almost like a... Got a little bit of almost brown, oh, it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it, it's almost like a Syrah. So, so you uh, can tell this is no uh, fruit punch wine. You no, know, this is not no. a, a cheap wine. Uh, just by at first looks and by watching it, as you, you can see, it's it's still. I I've stopped swirling, but I still got a ring lingering. You know, that's a, yeah, they call it's the a, legs. I, those are the legs. Yeah. Uh, and then I would legs. say this is probably a, a medium body wine. Yeah, it is. Um, it's, so it's got a good body, for, especially for a twenty-two dollars. The bottle. legs drip down the side of the glass, and you see, can these, tell the these legs that I got going around. Oh, here. look at that! Maybe we can do a close up there and look in the camera. Um, the wine by how it coats the glass is also going to you're going to feel the, the mouth coat when it is mm, I'm, I'm going well. to give this a shot here. Yeah. On the nose. Wait, wait. Any, 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 any oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put your nose in it. Mm. What do you smell, Damien? I I'm not smelling too much. <laughs> yeah, give it, give it a swirl. Give it a swirl I'm and not, then smell. I'm not smelling too much. Now, yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a smoker, so my sense of smell might be whack, but I do smell things. Uh, I'm like, you know, I, like I said, it's a young wine, so you're, you're still getting a little bit of that, that, that alcohol is still burning off right now as we're smelling mm -hmm. it. I mean, I but smell, it, I I smell wine. I but you're that. starting to smell like the, the darker uh, flavors come up underneath it. Well, I'm getting a lot of dark like fruit. Yoga. Yeah, the dark fruit. Um, this has some real, like, um, like a blackberry. Almost like plum almost. Plum would be another good example of dark fruit. Yeah. 
I didn't get, Do you get any, any wood on here? Some hints? A little of, cedar or something. Cedar? Yeah, I do. I get a, I get a little bit of a cedar. It smells and, nice. And maybe that's from the a the, the little bit of alcohol from being young, which which I, I prefer. I, I like that because it's got a lot of complexity still going on in it. Except the bags that I'm seeing are still trying to smell something very distinctive, and I am not. Well, it, so it might be like this the whole show. So that, that's just fine. Bear, you have to bear with me. That's fine. Does it smell offensive? No, not at all. Your no, nose is really in there fine. enough. Get, get it you know, if anything, you don't smell much. Right? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's possible to get drunk well, off of alcohol stuff. by just smelling it. Well, it actually it, felt it, that I, burn my nose. It's evaporating, right? Yeah. So it might, it might actually. Yeah. Could you freeze dry alcohol? Don't drink it dry, but if you want to snort alcohol like this, it it should do a line. line. Well, do lines of wine. All right, yeah, I got to drink it. I can't handle it. Okay. Yeah, that's not it seems dry. It it is. Mm -hmm. A dry rest. Yeah, the tannins. They, yeah, they really hit the tongue. You know, <clears throat> hit the tongue run. And you mm -hmm. feel it kind of coat the cheeks and across the tongue there. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Um, it's very, for twenty dollars, that's a fucking good wine. It's downright delicious. It's it's very, it's very drinkable. That's mm -hmm. there is nothing okay. offensive about this bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon from Benziger. Mike Benziger. I, Cheers to you, Mike Lindsay. I think you did great stuff. Well, the first glass, I give a thumbs up. Mm. Do people do this, like a wine drinking? Cause it's smart, because you're right. Taste isn't going to tell you jack compared to drinking the whole thing. You know, a lot of people I don't agree. discuss this, but I like to talk about the buzz that you get from a bottle of wine. Thank you. Every type of alcohol yes. uh, has a different buzz to it. Right. And a lot of people are too embarrassed to admit that they drink alcohol to catch a buzz. Not me. I do. That's the only reason I drink alcohol. I, uh, I do special. enjoy the smell. That's why I'm wine illiterate. Because oh, you gotta knock that back. Oh, Alright. It's, it's a knockback kind of thing. Here. Yeah. I enjoy the smell. I Lay enjoy the, the sight. Uh, I enjoy the taste, but the uh, favorite part of wine for me is the feel. You know, I would say that the, the more I drink this, this kind of softens up a little bit. It's well, it's yeah, not as it starts to breathe and harsh. It's not as big and bold as I kind of thought their cabernet would be. It's really Especially smooth. Being young. Yeah, I would say this is a smooth, soft, round, full-bodied, delicious, dark, fruit-forward cabernet sauvignon. And what well, the great thing about it, there's no need to wait for a wine like this. You just drink it now. Drinking while they're young. Mmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. First. Okay, so I am lightweight, and I'm starting to feel a little a bit of the wine tingle now. Feels good. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling great. Yeah, yeah, going on a light light stomach in uh, what is basically the middle of the day for us, uh, right near Bernie Token. Uh, it's, I believe, 5.30, maybe 6 o'clock. So, yeah, usually we wouldn't start drinking until the evening, but this is a special occasion. I mean, how often do you get to do a wine drinking show and type at the same time? Well, well, I want to ding. Oh yeah, you just the ding. How do you make the ding? Oh. Um, get to the end. There we go. Just, you just get to the end. Yeah, let's get to the end. That's that way it. I can have a sound effect on the show. Yeah, cheers. There you go. Cheers, cheers. guys. This is a good wine. <sighs> um, so if we're doing a hundred points, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty tough on this bottle. Um, uh -oh. I'm gonna give it. This is a 90 point bottle for $20 and under. 91. I'm going okay. to give it a 91. I say majority of $20 bottles. Like 80% of $20 bottles, I would be offended that I spent $20 on it. This one I would not. So I have no buyer. I'm numbers. going to 90 on that. I would. Damien, it's up to you. 74. 74. <laughs> He's a critic. What can I say? 74. I'm not, I don't want to get into why it's too personal. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. We have a 90, a 91, and, and a 74. 74. And uh, I'll tell you this right now. Um, I'm sad the bottle is gone, which is the highest That's compliment true. you can pay to a bottle of wine. It's it's treated me right. It'll be well. Now we've missed. Yeah. I look forward right. to the next. Now on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great night. And uh, if you ever see this on the shelves, I'd recommend it. Would you recommend it? I would. I'd recommend it. 74 is a great number. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I see what this bias rating. <laughs> I felt right. Alright, well I'm gonna do it for the second bottle. Alright. Are you guys in the
Sure. I'll have the smoke break. Yeah, I'll do it. Although it's funny because it'll be like, yeah, in the first episode, they seem like they have their shit together. The, the second, second episode, episode they must have really. Yeah. Yeah. 